All right, so I'm gonna talk to you today about a few, this is a free training I decided to do. <laughs> and today I'm gonna talk to you about some of the skills you can have as a social media that you can use to sell and make money as a social media manager. So um, if you're watching, say hello in the comments. And then also, if you have any questions, I'm here to help you and answer your questions. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. And let me just go ahead and share this in the group. Uh, but I'm gonna help answer some of your questions because some people um, are a little bit confused and they maybe feel that, you know, you know, how do I get started? I feel overwhelmed. That's a really common thing I hear from people. They feel overwhelmed. They don't know where to start. So I'm gonna talk to you about some of the social media skills that you can, um, you should be thinking about offering. Um, and also, how do you get those skills? Like if you're a total beginner, how do you get started? How do you grow your social media business? So I'm gonna to talk to you about that. And if you have any questions, please ask your questions in the comments. And also if you're watching, say hello and share this training with anyone that you know, um, that you know that wants to start their business and maybe they don't um, have the resources because this is a really good training that I'm gonna be answering your questions on as well. And it's free. Okay, so um, let's see who joined. I see some people here, I see Robin, I see some other people here. Okay, if you're watching, I see Christina, I see Robin. Okay, so um, I, I don't know if you've just, if you know me or not, but my name is Alma Bradford and I have a social media marketing agency where I help small businesses with social media, um, funnels and content marketing and cop copywriting. I've been doing this for 10 years. I've started my business um, really just as a complete beginner. I had no clue how to do this at all and I had to really, I pretty much self, I taught myself how to do social media. And I started my business, I was a single mom, I was able to grow it into a form of full-time income for myself. And so now I teach other people how to start their own profitable social media business as well. So if you wanna become a social media um, manager and you, or if you wanna start an agency, I'm gonna talk to you about how, how to get started and really like if you're a complete beginner and you've never done this before there's certain things that you need to know before you can even get started okay so we're going to talk about that today in this training all right if you know anyone that needs to see this please share this on your page share it on your profile and i'm going to really be breaking down some myths about this and about you know how what it takes to get started all right so let me ask you all of you watching um what questions do you have about starting your social media business and have you ever done social media before professionally? If yes or no, um, if you don't have any experience, please go ahead and comment below and let me know at what level are you? Because based upon your responses is, based, uh, is what I'm gonna talk about. So if you say, you know, I, I don't have any experience or I have experience, um, what type of experience do you have? Um, and what questions do you have about starting your social media business? Please comment below, because I'm gonna talk about that. All right, so let's see. I like, this is a very interactive session here. I'm here to help you. I'm here to answer your questions. So please interact and ask your questions because I don't want you to say, you know, I have no clue how to get started when I'm offering to give you advice. <laughs> I'm offering to give you advice today. So make sure you take advantage of this advice. Okay, let's see uh, who's here. All right, any other questions? Any questions? Okay, I'm gonna get started. So the first way, the first thing you need to do in order to start your social media business, if you want to become a social media manager or if you want to start a social media agency, is you need to learn how to do social media. So you can't, you, it's going to be hard for you to start making money as a social media manager if you don't even know what you're doing, right? So one of the things you can do now is that you can start learning how to do social media for your clients. So you can, you need to know how to grow followers on Instagram, on Twitter, on LinkedIn, um, on different platforms. Okay. You also need to know how to create content that speaks to your client's audience. So you need to know how to create content, how to research content, how to share content, what type of content should you be sharing on the platform, right? For your clients. So depending on you know what what niche your client is in what industry that's going to decide that's going to determine what type of content you should be sharing right um if your client is 
a dentist's office or if your client is a fitness coach, you're not going to be sharing the same as that content. You're going to have completely different content you should be sharing and posting. So you need to understand how to research the type of content that the the audience of your your client is going to react to is going to click on it's going to be it's going to make them get engaged and want to learn more right and also you need you need to know how to create engagement from those followers so you don't want to just post things and nobody clicks and likes and then also you want interaction so you don't want to you, what you don't want to do is you don't want to be growing followers who are not even in the target market like completely mismatch right you got to make sure the followers match what your client or your business you can this is something that you can do for your own business as well you need to make sure that your client's um audience is a match for what they're selling okay so that's the first step number one you want you need to learn social media Number two, you have to practice, okay? So you need, one of the things I, I tell people that you can do if you want to get started in this is you can actually practice on your own social media accounts. You can set up a separate business account for Instagram, for Twitter, for Facebook, for Pinterest, and you can just practice, right? But one of the things I noticed is that a lot of women want to get started but they feel like intimidated and they feel maybe afraid they don't think they have the skill set right and i'm here to tell you that while instead of being afraid instead of being frozen instead of not taking action you can take action today you can start learning start little by little open up your own instagram account you can create a business account and you can start posting content you can start trying to engage with your target audience and you can experiment on your own account so that by the time it's time for you to start going after clients and selling your services, you already feel comfortable with, you know, the ability to help someone with social media, right? So, oh, I see some comments. Um, Angela said, I have six years experience in city government social media. My question is how to set prices for services, okay? All right, Christina says she's mid-level. All right. Well, these are really good questions. So um, when it comes to pricing, I could tell you right now, Angela, it's, it's a personal decision. So it's really about what do you value is, is your, for your time? Like what, how much is one hour worth for you, right? How much is your time is worth for you? And also what type of budget does the, your, the potential client have? What type of budget do they have? Do, are they making like, you know, are they a multi-million dollar business? If they're a multi-million dollar business, they can afford to pay you thousands of dollars per month, right? But if they're a small business and maybe they don't have a budget, maybe they can only afford $600 a month. It just depends on the type of clients you wanna, you're going to go after. So pricing is, there's not like one set of standardized prices that all social media managers have to follow. It's all about how much um, content are you going to be putting out every month? And how many times are you going to post every every week? And like how much work you're gonna you're going to do? I actually teach people how to set prices in my course called Launch Your Online Agency. Um, and when I open the door to that course, um, I'll let you all know if you if you're on my email list, you'll be able you'll get notified. But that's what I actually teach people how to do. Um, and I give you specific examples on how to price your services and launch your online agency. So um, okay, so what other questions do you have? If you have any other questions, let me know. Okay. So it looks like some of you watching, like Angela has experience, Christina has some experience. So if you have experience, um, I'm curious to know. So here's the thing. I'm going to explain something to you. Instagram um, is, and there's a few platforms that you can grow followers organically. So you don't have to pay for ads, okay? And those, I'm going to tell you a lot more, uh, more about that in this training, but there's, it's Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest mainly, and LinkedIn. However, with Facebook, in order for you to grow followers on a Facebook page, you do have to pay for ads. I'm going to explain that, but because Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest is organic, you can actually grow followers organically. That's a great place to start. So you can really, if you, if you're able to let, let's say you, you find a small business client, right? 
and you start managing their Instagram account. If you can give them 400 new client, new followers on Instagram per month, then you can, you're going to wow them, number one, okay? And one of the mistakes I see people make sometimes is that they think that, you know, I'm going to talk more about it during, um, during this presentation, but they think that all they have to do is just post content and that's it. But it's a lot more than that. And this is the reason why businesses pay social media managers. And there's a huge opportunity for you if, you're, if you want to start selling your services doing this or if you're a virtual assistant and you want to add on social media services as well. Okay, so for those people who are completely brand new, uh, once you feel comfortable practicing on your own accounts, you should be ready to help clients with their, with their accounts, okay? All right, so after you feel comfortable and you got some experience, the next step is you want to start selling your services. So if you're a beginner, you have to do step one and two in order to move to step three, okay? But it looks like some people watching, um, they may be people who have experience. And so if you feel comfortable, then the next step is to just go ahead and start selling your services, start networking, start talking to potential clients, and um, really just getting your getting getting the experience so you feel even more comfortable. Um, but you can't have, help your clients if you don't know how to grow their social media accounts. You have to help them with growth because that's the only way they're going to stay with you month after month after month. All right, so what type of services to offer? So let's go over. There's a lot of different things you can offer as a social media manager or if, uh, if you want to start a social media agency. Um, number one is posting on Facebook, just doing like social media management where you're going to be scheduling posts, um, creating content, images, blog posts, um, audio, video. You can also do content creation where you, um, excuse me, you actually share other other blog posts. Like for my clients, um, what I do is I share other content on Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. So like if I have, when I work with like uh, legal industry clients, we do some research and sometimes we find other similar blogs and we just, we, we just uh, curate the content. We just reshare other, other uh, content. Uh, repurpose it, um, and a, a lot of people do this. So, or the other thing is, if you're, a, let's say you're a social media uh, management agency, and you have a Twitter account, what you could do is share content on different blog articles that talk about um, the benefits of using social media marketing, the benefits of Instagram, the benefits of Facebook. So, you can educate your audience, and you can even just share other people's content. Just make sure you always give credit to other people when you do that. You can also do community management. You can engage with followers. Um, you can create websites if you want. You can add that as an extra service and charge additional money for that. You can do graphic, offer graphic design and branding and blog writing and content writing. I actually offer uh, blog writing and content writing for my clients. And that's why I charge like at least a minimum of like a thousand to 2000 a month. And it goes up to, from there, even 5,000 a month. Um, so that's why, because I offer something that's a little bit more advanced, which is blog writing. And then there's copywriting where you write persuasive sales copy. So I write sales pages. Uh, we also do landing page copywriting as well. And then uh, sales funnels. Uh, you can also do search engine optimization, SEO, and lead generation. Now, let's go a little bit deeper. So posting on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn Really, this is one of the simplest things you could do. And I think that when you're first starting out, this is like one of the easiest ways to do it. And really, it doesn't take much. You just have to use the right scheduling tool. Uh, you also need to plan out the content. And you need to also plan out your time, right? So if you're doing this and maybe you have two, three, four clients, you just want to make sure you schedule out your time to, to schedule your client's content as well. Um, and then you can also do Facebook group administration. Some businesses use Facebook groups to create fans or sell products. You can be a community manager. Um, and then also there's Instagram engagement and visibility. Um, businesses really need help with posting regularly on Instagram and also growing followers. You can create custom images with free tools like Canva or Adobe Spark. Um, and then there's Pinterest management. Pinterest management is a really great opportunity for you to help um, businesses who have a blog this really, really works when you have um, businesses that have content like a blog or maybe they're selling a product and you can get, help them get more website traffic through Pinterest. So there's a lot of work involved in that. And so you, you would be pinning every single day. You can help them set up and optimize their Pinterest business accounts. You can set up rich pins and you can create images for each pin. 
And then there's blogging. My business, I help my clients with blogging. So we produce content for our clients, um, custom made content. I don't write the articles. I have other blog writers who help me with that. But it's a great opportunity to generate additional income. You don't have to offer blog writing at all. You could just have that as something extra. There's also Facebook ads. This is more of an advanced skill set, but if you learn how to run Facebook ads for clients, there's lots of potential for growing your business in, business in this area. And then copywriting. Copywriting involves knowing how to write persuasive written text that involves selling. You can write copy for websites, um, sales pages, landing pages, product descriptions, and email sales funnels. You can also charge a lot more money if you decide to add the service. And then, like I said before, graphic design, website design. You, you don't have to offer all of these, but you have the option to offer that. Because uh, for me, I know over the years, I've had clients ask me to, they want to help with that, so we offered it to them. All right, so I want to talk to you about something really, really important. So whatever, uh, whatever service you, you decide to offer, I'm going to tell you how I'm, listen, let me tell you this right now. I get really, really frustrated when um, I work with, I actually have hired social media managers before. <laughs> and something that really bothers me, and I could tell you that whenever, if you, if you want to have a client and you want that client to stay with you month after month, you have to show results. Okay, because there's some social media managers that have a hard time because they don't focus on one important thing, which is helping your clients to grow their followers. If you aren't helping your clients grow their followers, your work is totally useless because let's say your client has an Instagram account with just 50 followers and they hire you to help them. And all you do is just post content. Nobody's going to see their posts. And so what's the point? right? You have to help your, your clients grow their followers. And you can grow followers for free on Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Pinterest, okay? With Facebook, it's a little bit trickier because you have to get, um, you do have to spend some money on, on ads or boosted posts. But the other ones like Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, you don't have to spend ad money on that. And that's the beauty of it. And this is where you have this opportunity to really help your clients and do all that manual work and charge the money for it, okay? Do you have any questions about what I'm talking about? Let me know if you have any questions. I'm here to help and I'm here to give you advice, okay? Oh, hey, uh, Nafisa said, uh, I'm actually new to this, um, so thank you. Awesome, I'm happy that you enjoy this. Okay, so that's that. The other thing you need to do is, you need to help the, your client create content that attracts and converts. So. You should be researching the target audience of your client so that you can understand what type of content will attract them, okay? And you also need to schedule enough content for your clients each month. And you should also be helping your clients create content whenever you can. And that also depends on the type of business they have in their platform because, um, for instance, let's say um, you're helping somebody with Instagram, right? And maybe they have like a hair salon. Um, you may need them to take the pictures and send it over to you. Um, if your client is a fitness, um, it, you don't have to. So here's the thing about Instagram. I think a lot of people think that you have to take pictures with a, with a camera in order to post content on Instagram. You don't have to do that. You can actually just put uh, motivational quotes. You can share images. Um, you can create custom graphics depending on the type of business they have. It really just depends. And what you could do is, you can, you can tell your clients that they have to take their own pictures and send them over to you and you post them. But what you can do is tell them, okay, you know, you're going to be paying me and my business to help you get more followers. Because if you just help them get more followers and also for every single post that they post, you help them get more engagement, that right there is like working. You're going to be working wonders for them because it's, it's very time consuming, um, can you see my screen? Okay. Yeah. So make sure it's very time consuming to try to get followers. And there's something with Instagram where there's an algorithm that even if you post content, not all of your follow followers are going to be able to see it. So with Instagram, there's some tweaks you have to do in order to get visibility on your posts. Okay. And this is, this brings me to this slide, which is about engagement. 
Like I said before, Instagram, only a few of your followers will see what you post. This is due to the Instagram algorithm that shows posts with more engagement over posts that have low engagement. And what does engagement mean? So social media engagement includes likes, comments, shares, saves, and clicks. The more you have people that engage on Instagram with your posts, they like your stuff, they comment, they share, they save, um, the more Instagram's going to show that post above at the top of the newsfeed. And because a lot of people follow like hundreds of people, right? You want your, your, your Instagram post to show up at the top. Okay. Because most people are not going to go through 500 different images of, you know, I mean, there's some people that just have nothing to, else to do with themselves, but that's just a lot. And most people don't look at all of the images that they fo of people that they follow. So what Instagram does is it ranks the, the posts at the top that have the most comments and the most likes and the most engagement, okay? Now, this is not something that you can do unless you know the special tricks and hacks <laughs> that I actually teach in my membership site called Social Maven Academy. All right, so um, the easiest platforms to learn, in my opinion, are Instagram because you just help them grow their followers and you, you can really impress them. And you can use scheduling tools to post content. Um, let me see. I see somebody asked a question. Nafisa asked, what if the client sells physical products? How do we manage such pages? So, oh, she, I think she said, I just, man, I just answered the question. Right. So Nafisa, you would have your client take the pictures and send them to you. Now, some people, I see people, you know, like, oh, I'm going to go take um, photos from my client. I feel like that's a little bit too much. And unless you're a photographer, see, this is where I don't, I kind of don't feel good about that because the whole what I teach people to do is that you're going to start a business unless you work from home. So th what this means is that you don't never have to leave your house. Okay. <laughs> you don't have to go to the restaurant and go take the pictures. That's like doing too much unless they're going to pay you like a thousand dollars or $2,000. I would not be someone who I wouldn't go take the pictures for the client. They would have to take the pictures on their own and send them to you. If they don't want to do that and they don't want to pay you a thousand dollars or 2000, then you don't work with them. That's just how it works. And this is why you have to you have to set boundaries with your clients and you just have to let them know this is what I offer, this is what I don't offer. Because I see people struggling a lot of times in the group. They'll be like, oh, they want me to do this, want me to do that, want me to do that. And look, you can't do everything. You can only do what you can. And so if you want a, a, bus a business that lets you work from home, that doesn't require that you have to physically be anywhere, you don't want to be telling clients that you're going to take photos for them because then you have to get out of your house, you have to go somewhere, and that doesn't, that's not going to give you the freedom, you know, like freedom and flexibility and being able to travel because you got to be there on site, right? So what do you all think about that? Because I, I definitely, I, I, I pretty much push back on that. I've, I've told clients, no, we don't take pictures. You can send them over to us. That's it. Um, and that's how I handle that situation. Because my business is designed so that I don't have to be in person with the client. I could do it online. I could do it from anywhere. And I can help businesses all over the world. So my have clients, I work with clients in different countries, in different cities. I don't just only work with clients where, where I live, right? Okay, so, um, okay, let's talk about Instagram management. So, excuse me, some of the services you can offer, you can put together like a, a, a package, a monthly package, um, and you can grow their followers. You can schedule posts that go, go out each week. You can create and schedule Instagram stories. Now, Instagram stories are really powerful, and if you can schedule that and help them out with that, they'll love you for that. And you can also help them get visibility on, on their posts by doing in some engagement tricks and hacks that I teach inside of my membership site, Social Maven Academy. All right. One of the things I would tell you if you're just starting out is just some things you should not try to do right away. <laughs> and they are Facebook ads. I don't recommend that if you're just told you're completely brand new to social media management that you try to start out with this. You're basically going to be taking your client's money and you're going to be gambling with it. And if you don't know what you're doing, you can easily waste your client's money. So why would you want to do that, right? <laughs> now, here's the beauty of it. You don't have to do every single thing. What I recommend for brand new people is to just start out with offering simple social media posting and management based upon what I described earlier. With time, you can eventually add Facebook ads to your list of services, but I don't recommend that you start out right away unless you have experience doing that. Okay, so let's see. 
All right, so eventually, oh, I wanna to talk to you about some things that people um, may be shocked to know that you can actually specialize in Instagram management. Um, I have a student in my course that just does Instagram. She's actually like a full-time Instagram manager. Um, you can just offer that and, or, or you can like, you can offer, you can be someone who specializes it specializes in Instagram, but you also offer other auxiliary services. Did I say that right? Auxiliary or ancillary? Oh, ancillary services <laughs> or add-on services, like some extras, right? So you can say, okay, my Instagram package is this much per month, but if you also want me to manage, you know, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, that's going to be an extra XYZ per month right? You can mix and match different services. You can also do Pinterest management, okay? Pinterest management is its own little thing because Pinterest is really good for bloggers and people that want to get website traffic, lifestyle product businesses as well do, uh, do really good on, on Pinterest. So you can help your clients promote their blogs and website traffic and pin every single day. And you can use a scheduling tool that actually pins for you. Okay, so there's some really good schedule tools that you can use that does that does all the work and you don't have to do it, um, do it every day. And just offer other different social media platforms, posting on all of them. All right, now here's an example of some services that you can actually charge more money for. They are blog writing, okay? And I charge uh, blog writing. We have um, people that hire us to do blog writing because they want to do SEO, search engine optimization, and they want to share their blog posts on social media. So I offer that service and I charge a lot. Like a lot of my, my blog writing service starts at $1,000 a month. And what we do is we write the blog posts and then we share them on social media. And yeah, that's what, also what we do. It comes with, one of my packages comes with four blog articles a month. And then um, I, I post those blogs and I just help them with social media on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, whichever social media platform they want. Uh, that's actually one of my lowest packages. And then I also help them with my clients with email marketing. And they charge for email marketing, one of my packages is $2,000 a month. So they, you know, we'll actually write emails for them and we, we'll actually send them out, help them with their monthly newsletter as well. So if you're going to offer this, these type of services, you want to charge high premium prices for this, okay? All right, so... Let me go ahead and um, let you know about a special program I have. Uh, hold on. Okay, so I wanna show you something. So I have a program um, called Social Maven Academy. It's a membership site, a monthly membership site where you can learn about all the things I just talked about. And it teaches you the skills you need to be a really, really good social media manager and so if you're a beginner or you just want to get into this and you want to get better at, at your skills we have a whole bunch of courses here and lessons on instagram facebook twitter pinterest linkedin social media strategy i, I teach you how to create a strategy a content strategy also we have a, a training on how to become an instagram influencer how to start a social media marketing agency i give you the overview of what it's going to take to start one and then there's email marketing and lead magnets. And also, whenever I see, uh, whenever we find jobs, we, put, we sometimes post um, jobs, uh, any type of social media jobs or virtual assistant jobs, website design, we, we try to share them here. And personal branding, uh, productivity, content marketing, SEO, video marketing, and we do a monthly coaching call. I do a monthly coaching call um, every month. And I answer your questions and we have a private Facebook group just for people in the program. It's not for anyone else. And I answer your questions in that group as well. So you get access to a community of over 200 women who are trying to grow their businesses and sharpen up their skills. And you can ask questions and you can network. It's really awesome. And so I would love to invite you to the program. And if you join, if you join, you will, hold on a second. Uh, Actually, I'm offering a special. So if you join this week, you get to get the first month for $7. And after that, it's $39 a month. So the normal price is $39 a month, but you can get the first month and try it out for $7. We would love to have you. And I included a link above this video. 
if you want to join. And this offer is not going to be around forever. I only let do this like once in a while. I don't do it all the time, but currently it's available. We would love to have you. And tomorrow I have a live coaching call for the Social Maven Academy members. So if you join today, you get to join that call. And that's where I really, that's where I really, really answer a lot of your questions very, very in detail. Like, you know, how do you do a specific type of strategy? You know, if you have questions about growing your business, you can ask those questions. So you get access to mentoring and coaching as well. All right. So thank you everyone for watching and we would love to have you in our community. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.